Okay, that was a longer break than I expected, and my, my doggy fell asleep. And now it's night time. I don't know if that's going to change anything. It had a real poke. I thought it was important. Let's try again. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. I helped the lady fix her sake mill. Yeah. Polishing the rice? What's she just doing out in the middle of the night anyway? She seems like a weird lady. Oh, no! Does it count if I do it while um, no one's here to see? Leap strats here. <clears throat> uh, unique shaped bead that shines in multiple layers of color. Cool. <laughs> I love it if this was like the way to beat this uh, I'll dig up all 10 turnips thing is literally just wait until they're asleep. Uh, not sure about this camera. I'm too lazy to look at the settings. His melon. Oh no, he's gonna be mad now. I didn't think I could break it. Oh no. Oh, I'm just eating everything, man. broke her watermelon. <clears> that <throat> sounds like a dirty pun. <clears> the <throat> thing about that lady and it just makes you think, oh yeah, she gets around town. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, why would I think that? There's literally an old couple and nothing else. Nobody else in this area. Well, okay, just changes time on its own. That's where you save. Just gonna do the Pokemon thing and it's just talk to everyone, enter every house and see what happens. I assume there's something to do in here later. <clears throat> or at night, I don't know. Something about this family. Ooh. Ah, 
I really just don't like them. The kid's an asshole, and the mum, the mum's like, if you catch you with them turnips, and her first interaction with you, if I catch you with this turnip, I'm gonna like beat the shit out of you, and you're like, oh, okay, so now I'm gonna fuck with you, <laughs> like you know, because that was rude. I was not gonna touch the turnips, but now I'm gonna touch the turnips. Nothing to eat here. Stole all the oranges. Ah, it's really that simple. Steal their all their like consumables. Whole as town starves. Try again. Oh, well, I'm wrong. I thought I could break it. I ate all their oranges. <laughs> She's mad. Oh, who's mad? Who's mad? Who's mad? Hey, I didn't even hit Oh, you fish. Oh, took too long. That is fast. Whatever. So she's still singing. I suppose I've got to talk to uh, old Lazy Lee's man. He's really pointing at him saying, yo. That guy is awfully important to the plot, and I was just like, sure. <laughs> and just then went and ate pasta instead. Dead. Oh. <laughs> he was in, I thought he was in the jug. <laughs> <coughs> Sound of Lazy Man. Theme of Lazy Man is playing. You are the greatest. <laughs> Dude, you live like this. God. Awful, man. I steal this. It's going to be one of those things where you can't get out of the opening city until you've done all of the mini things, isn't it? Where it's like, go pick up the turnips. Ha <laughs> ha! So for some reason there was an orange in there. Want it. want it? It's loud if you can hear him from outside the house <laughs> snoring. Exorcism slip. <coughs> Slightly damages. <coughs> so like the holy water in Devil May Cry 4 that no one ever used because it was like, what's the point in this item? I want to go over there, but I can't look. Wow. <laughs> okay, that was obvious. That was going to happen. Drying pole is. Oh, yeah. Oh, whatever shall I do? Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked, dog. Hey, kid, see what I'm doing to your dog? <laughs> Fuck your dog. <laughs> 
Oh, where's his turnips now? Where them turnips? What? I don't like you or your dog. Oh. So, wicked brushstroke. So you're suggesting I just slash this bitch. Ho oh. ho! So we're playing keep away by doing this. I slash the bucket off her head. You don't like literally snap her in half like the twig she is. Oh. Now. Oh. Air tech. Wait till she gets in frame. So close. Huh. <sighs> Why do you even need the water on your head? <laughs> now what? Uh, she's after me. I got your special turnip. It looks like a... I don't know what it looks like. Kind of like the lower half of a person. Oh, it's almost like I'm a wolf and not a dog. And a god, not a dog. <coughs> Why is he like Jojo posing when he gives me praise? Like, yeah! <laughs> Whatever, kid. Uh, let's go talk to the lady who makes the sake, who I was kind of mean to. I've just been dissing this town, man. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I get it. Go get sake to the drunk-ass old man who just sits in his basement. Thus enabling him. <laughs> okay, so I thought there was more to do than that, but I reckon no, you will have to do stuff to get this guy in shape. And help him out. Oh, maybe not. So someone wants sake, but I don't know. The old lady wanted a fishing pole, so, uh, a drying pole, so she definitely doesn't want... I'm not very good at these things, because like I said, <laughs> the, my only experience of this was when I was about 12 or 10 or so. When did Jack and Daxter come out? It was on the PS2, right? Yeah. People are like, hey, check out Jack and Daxter, and I did. <clears throat> and I couldn't get past the first town because I was just wandering around and when I was at that age. Jesus. Lady, don't have kids just to fucking beat the shit out of them. You're a bad person. Maybe the flute man wants it. But he was he tricked me, the flute man. Ah oh, 
he tricked me again. He's already dead. Stop, he's already dead. Good, I get my sake back. Where did Mr. Orange go? Is he up here? Maybe he likes sake. No one believes in me. It's very dejected. The fact that there's a whole day cycle as well is just nuts to me. Like, this game is like one of those games where everyone sleeps on it because they're like, oh, I don't think that's my kind of thing. And then it's like, it's really good. I mean, other games that I've slept on that I was like, oh my god, this is actually like something I really should be playing. Oh, there's more people. Oh, there was more people. Huh? What? <laughs> okay. Hey, child, do you want some alcohol? Meal. Oh, she can see stuff. No, not restoring her. Yeah, I thought that was a bigger statue. I feel like I can go back into that world, but is it like just the place I was in before the tutorial space? That's a pretty cool transition. If it is, I'll just go back out. <clears throat> yeah, it is. I lost my arm. Gonna go ahead and assume there's nothing here yet. Oh no, I lost my, I probably did something stupid. Lost my own. What? Oh, kind of went weird then. Can I restore the tree? If I just, what? Oh. I just like yeah. no. I can't believe I lost my sake by being stupid. Yeah, so like there's Shadow of the Colossus and there was one other that all my friends said to me, play this game man, you're missing out and I was like, nah man, I'll get round to it at some point. Like end of late era PlayStation 2. 
I was playing God of War 2, which was really stood up for the time, and I was like, oh, okay, and it got Game of the Year alongside Shadow of the Colossus and a lot of mags and stuff, you know. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, okay. You know, I'll, I'll get around to it. My friend had it, and he said it's really good, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it at some point. It's a HD re-release, so after Akami, I'll probably play it on here, but, like, <clears throat> I still can't say it ever held a huge thing for me, even though it looks really cool. <clears throat> hmm. What was the other, uh, there was one other that I was like, oh, really? That's pretty cool. But there's a few like that. I half-finished Rogue Galaxy, which is just such a weird... Maybe he wakes at night. But I heard him snoring. How are you asleep all of the time, sir? Draw a sun around him. <laughs> Man, I am stumped. <clears throat> I always get stumped. Like I was saying about Jack and Daxter, I played the first one and they put you in this, like, kind of. Oh, you need so many of these egg fingers to, like, continue. And it was pretty rigid, if I remember correctly, where it was like, oh, you need quite a lot of these eggs. These, like, mechanical egg things. Precursors or something? Uh, it was called the Precursor Legacy. That's why I was like, oh, yeah, it's got to be something to do with that. And it, I don't know if it was. Uh, oh, shit. I thought I could just, well, no. And, uh, yeah, like, there were a lot of challenges where it was like, run around and do this, like, train, like, a chocobo-style thing. And I was like, um, I have a chicken. Oh, maybe if I put a chicken in this house. Oh. My chicken's gone. I'm kind of stumped. Oh, it respawns. Well, that's nice. But who am I giving this to? Can you give me a hint? Maybe I'll just put it on the floor next to the guy and he'll be like, ooh, sake in the night or something. Because he's the only one that seems to be likely to drink it. But it literally is clipping through his body until I work out what I actually have to do with it. Yeah, and it was pretty rigid. There were these challenges where it was like, go here, do this really like quite hard challenge where you had to race or something and you had to like be really good at platforming. At like, and it was, I was just like, as a kid, I, I, like, I, like I was saying, I skip. I used to just skip because I my first RPG of any kind with loads of text was uh, Pokemon, and I was just like, yeah, whatever, skip, 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 and I was like, when do you give me a thing good? Give me a thing good, and I was just like really impatient as a kid with like that stuff. Like I could read it, but then I would skip over stuff and then be like, oh, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Oh, 
good. Just busting in on this lady's uh, bedroom and breaking her stuff. So I mean. Why does it have to be so pervy? Don't say that about any of the guys' beds. Yes. I need you. Do I still have it? I don't. I lost my chicken. I was going to put the chicken in this house. There's a thing up there. Let's go do that. It's like a peach or something. Hell. Oh yeah, I never took, spoke to this guy. He's probably like, oh gee, I'd really like to have some sake right now. Yeah, I want to talk to the guy though. He's gonna have something to say. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's bad. I was afraid. Okay. I broke your thing. I ate a potato in the middle of a battle. No! No! Yes. I saved the man. And I brought flowers back. Yeah, just start with something simple like that. Checking on the dude. I feel as light as a feather now. Have you got the drying pole in your hand? Gonna say, can I just cut the boulder? No, it'd be too easy, right? So now I have to go see him. And it's probably like now give him the sake and he'll wake up, you know. Or something. Oh, he woke up that time.
<laughs> Fair enough, that's pretty funny. <clears throat> yeah, I had a link to the past on my Game Boy Advance as well, or whatever that came out on. Yeah, I think it was GBA. And uh, I literally just was skipping everything, and in Zelda you can't skip everything that they say to you, because then I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, I know, I know, and I'm like, where the fuck do I go now? <laughs> like, you know, uh, I was such a dumbass kid, I swear to God. Greatest warrior who ever lived. He says that a lot. Their intro warriors engage in battle. I got a favor. This huge boulder is blocking the path. Wait. A border of this size is not very easy even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. <laughs> he just runs away. Yeah, he says that, but you know what it's actually going to be like. You know he's just going to be going back to sleep. Oh no. Oh no, he's drinking. Uh... Maybe I get in the socket now. <laughs> 